Greetings, models. I am the Fallen Shogun. I'm here to find out who's that indie. Today's indie being QB Factorum. I hope I said that right. Currently free to play, extremely early pre alpha, upon the itch. As always, link in the description. I'd highly recommend going out and trying it. It's completely free right now. You can give them money, of course. And hopefully, I'll keep on building it and growing it because I want to see this go. Just on here so you can see how things go. And it should be giving us a tutorial. Learn how to use the help system. Move your mouse over an objective to display more help. Click on the light bulb at the top right panel of the screen. Unload the ship. That's good. Okay, so unload the ship. Click on it. Unload the ship. So you have these little people. They're basically castaways. As you can see, they're very blocky. They're very cute. Look at them little adorable guys. And you can only build within these bonfires. Of course, I'll figure that out and show you as soon as it lets me. A crying rock is unlocked, bonfire, house, stone road, basic workplace, well. So I don't quite know how much there is to the game right now, of course. I've only played a little bit to make sure it works. And again, it's extremely early. Okay, there we go. So unlocked it. That's fine. Unload the ship. Build a second bonfire to expand your territory. As you can see, it's unlocked. And now let's okay, let's have a road along here. So let's build you there. So as you can see, a little people, if you click on them, they levitate uh, resources. So they're all wizards. That's probably why they got kicked out because wizards. Let's actually get some stone, get some stuff. If you click on a person, as you can see, they start off with combat, construction. We also have mining and harvesting. Let's get a few mining and harvesting ready. Farming, they can do like special wor <coughs> workshop assignments, or you can give them a special zone they can be in. So you can turn the colour of these bonfires to different colours and have them only work within those areas. Of course, I don't quite know how that will work currently. Because again, I haven't really done that area. Let's do this, do that. Okay, so we need a stockpile, that's fine, we can get a stockpile up and running. Which is this one here. Okay, that's... Du, 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 du. There we go. This stockpile is for... Rock and wood. There we go. So as you can see, we're steadily building up the beginning of our QB Factor city. Hopefully. How big is that? Is that a three? Oh, it's raining. There's a sheep. Lissy the sheep, they're all called Lissy, I've noticed. So there's weather, there's day-night cycles. I don't quite know if it changes too much of the game so far because I'm not entirely certain, obviously, how much there is into the game program does it work. Oh, like, I have to admit, even now the game looks pretty impressive for what it is. Like I say, this version is free. Link is in the description, as always. Let's get a well just here. So to make the well work, I actually need to click on someone, you, and you're going to become my well master. There we go. So let's carry on building. Let's actually put down stone roads. Ooh. Like that. So we need another stockpile. That's fine. Let's start off with a small one there. Also, oh, this doesn't actually want to have that there. So what happens is, you click on one of your build, you can sort of output it to certain areas. So all the uh, water here is going to be outputted to this teeny little thing just here. But as you can see, the very beginning is telling me how to play the game, that's fine. So I need to actually turn water on, which is... Where's water? It should be at the bottom, shouldn't it? T water, there we go. No, 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 just water. So obviously I can make that bigger later on, but right now, my miner, or my weller, my weller, will go and do that. Let's get a basic house down to get my people somewhere to live. Middle mouse click will rotate it. Two houses. Obviously I can speed up time, I only have access to four houses right now, I need a farm zone. So what we're going to do is keep on growing, expanding. Obviously, I want to have more stockpiles, so actually what I'm going to do is... Hmm, I don't know. First of all, we're going to have another stockpile over here. For food. 
another one here, and this one's going to be expanded to here. So as you can see, growing steadily, growing nicely, you're going to be access to... I don't know, you need a farm first, so you need a farmer. What are you? Congratulations, you're a farmer. Oh, rank two. Mm, maybe not. You're rank three. Congratulations, farmer. So let's farm. Oh, we can't. We need to expand it. Okay. And there we go. Keep on growing, expanding, and making it nice. And there we are. As you can see, it should hopefully do quite well, but we'll see. Just got to let it build up. Obviously, I'm going to speed things up eventually, but I want to show you how it looks day and night cycle. People are sleeping on the floor at the moment, which is a bit worrying, but there you go. Weirdos. Sorry, let's go speed up. Because I want to get this stuff out of the way, I want to carry on building that way. This obviously is for water. Where's my water maker? There's water we need for water. Assign crops, strawberry. Recruit stranded castaways. Some castaways will join a colony. Find them. Okay. What are you? Are you dead? No, you're just asleep. So we're going to have some farms. Oh, we can't just yet, because we've got to get rid of this. What is that? Weeds. Ah. Okay, we're going to get another house over here. Perfect. Oh, we have water being picked up now. Good, our people can now drink. That's interesting. Okay, that's now done. We can now stop putting farms down. Is that a three? That's not a three. That's going to be cancelled. Oh, never mind. I can actually just very specifically choose it. Okay, you're going to be strawberry. And you're going to be assigned to there. So I can actually turn it off. So then I can turn it on and off and see what they're doing. Obviously, I have messages, but nothing really useful right now. I can see how my people are doing, so I actually specifically tell them what to do. Very useful when you have a big colony, obviously, right now. There's only six of them. But they're doing okay. So come with me, you. You're going to go and explore to find these other colonists. God. The storm. Look, it's a lovely little place. Obviously, the island is procedurally generated. Oh, there's four different things here. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, we went, we went, that's a slime. They attack people. So that needs ten wheat for them. That needs to kill the slimes. These require ten harvested berries. You also require harvested berries. No. Oh, did you win? You did! Okay, kill the other two slimes. Well, one slime. Where's the slime? Where's the other slime? There it is. No! Falkward has died! Well, we're already one man down. So I don't quite know, obviously, what happens afterwards, because, like I say... Come here, you. After a while, obviously, I don't know if any more people turn up or how they turn up, but... I've only played about half an hour. I don't know how long it is. Hopefully we don't lose this one. We might. I mean, God knows we might. Come on. Come on, Batwin. Victory. So these guys should join me now. Welcome to the team. We lost one game too. Ah, good enough. So we need some berries, apparently. Let's have another farm down. We'll have you to there, and you're going to get wheat, because that will get me the, um, the animals.
Okay, water's full. We have some resources. We need a basic workshop now. So let's get a basic workshop down. Get some torches at some point, methinks. Uh, that's fine. Okay, get rid of that. That's one, two, three. That gap there be perfect. Yeah, okay. Another bonfire over here. I like how you have to use bonfires because it slowly helps out. Hmm. But yeah, as you can see. There's a lot of interesting things I'd like to see in this because you can turn on enemy camp, friendly camp. There is trading, I think, at some point because you have a Zeppelin depot. But we'll see. Because obviously, again, being very early pre alpha, everything won't all be here. But enough should be here to show off in all its splendour and glory, as you can see. So we need a wood popper. Okay. Do this. Okay, so we have that there. We need to get a workshop down. Let's have that there. Let's spin it around. There we go. Just up there. It's a shame that Folk, uh, Folk would die, but you know, we'll remember him. Like I said, I don't know how we get more people. Obviously, these require wheat. These require berries. These require berries too. And I don't know what happens after that point. Maybe get some more farms down as well while I'm at it. Okay, so this requires wooden boards, and I need a guy to be doing it. So what are you? What's your job? No? What about you? Congratulations, you are now a work placer. Uh, okay, let's get another stockpile for you. There we go, perfect. The crew castaways, dead simple. So I think that is all we have for the actual missions in this game so far, but we'll see. There's a pig in our stockpile. So he's making boards. Boards we need for... Brick, rock, wooden board, iron block. Brewery. Automated farm. Ooh. As you can see, a lot of things you can do. Metal working, kiln, oil pump, robot workshop. Train statue. So yeah, it's they're more advanced than you think. There's robots and trains and stuff like that. And outpost bonfires are gonna just build like another new little city over here if I felt like it. Okay, let's do this. We have another specific one. So we want this to be flowers? Let's have another I don't know, another strawberry over here. We need a third person, or second person actually. What's your job? You're a woodcutter, that's fine with you. You're a woodcutter too. Let's have the farmer as well, why not? If we're not woodcutting, be farmer. Can be mined. Really? I have to mine them? It lied to me. Yeah, anyway, get some more berries. We'll start getting those other people in. That should be fine. We have water. We have food coming in. Okay, the farm needs to be to there. There we go. We could do some more houses too now, I'm thinking about it. Now I'm looking at the darkness, yes.
I think we're doing okay. We have good resources, we have good people. Good stockpile, we've got water, we've got plenty of water, we've got some food. Obviously need some more houses, so though one person dying will help us out in the long run. Well, we have enough for more people. Welcome to the team! Baltram and Goathild. How about you two? There we go. And we've just got these left, which are two pigs. Done! Load resources onto the ship. Nice, load some supplies onto the ship. This is our final objective. And complete, we can move on to the next island. Really? Ah! Intriguing! So how much is there to this game? Open up the water. Click on a good to unload. How do I... Can I just... Re uh, remove this to here? No. How do I load you up? Load and leave. Okay. More cars we load onto a ship. That should help out a bit. So we need some more rocks, we need some more logs, and some more boards, that's fine. Intriguing. So we grab everyone and move to the next island. There might be more of this game than I thought. Okay, grab that, and we just need berries and boards, that's fine. But yeah, we have a lot of resources going in now. We've got a few boards, we've got water. Yeah, we're doing okay. Perfect! So we've got everyone we can. We have lost one person. Which is a shame, but there you go. And we have a teeny tiny little city. We do need more boards and locks. So we just need three, one more board, six more logs. Oh, I can't actually get there. It's outside of my area. Okay. Come on, we need that. One more board, a couple more logs. So we build that up, then we grab some more wood. And we're done. Dunderino. Perfect. And then we move on, I guess. We have plenty of storage capacity too. We can take more resources with us, it seems. Take some more of those. Take some of these. Some more logs and some more stone. Actually, we just need pure logs. There we go. We are preparing. For the future! Is that a pig taking berries? It is! Lissy! Proud of you! So yeah, I highly recommend checking out this game. There's a lot more to it than meets the eye. Like I said, there's a lot of automation. The, the pre-alpha has been updated. They actually added automated farming the past two days. That's what that building was looked at. So now let's... Load and leave! How do, I, how do I leave? Oh, you've completed an objective, you can continue playing or start a new game. Oh. So there isn't any more to it yet, I just basically start a new game after this. That's, that's a shame. Oh well, we've gotten into it so far, I'm kind of curious. Basic board, ooh.
Oh, so that's all we have for it for now, let's say. But like I say, I do expect a lot more for it in the future because this has a huge amount of potential and promise. Especially the whole, you load up and move on to the next island. Like I say, right now it just seems to me I can just, you know, end it. And I'd like to honestly be able to build up more, but I don't know what else there is. I don't know if you can do more stuff like that. Okay, get rid of that. But yeah, this is GB Factorm. Pre alpha, free to download on itch.io. Again, links are in the description. And I highly recommend it. And I'm going to be keeping an eye on this for a long, long time. That's oil. Oil well. See, I can just do whatever I like right now. Obviously, it hasn't unlocked a lot of things. I think it will slowly over time. I've got the table here, so I can just sit down and socialise. Which is pretty awesome. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll see you in the next Who's That Indie bringing strategic, tactical survival game straight to your face holes. But I recommend it. Come out and try it. Ciao's for now's people. Bye-bye.